This class is an introduction to straight line graphs. And a straight line graph is pretty much what it sounds like. It's a graph of a straight line, but more formally, it's a graph of a linear function. And it's that formalization of just a line on a graph that we want to consider. And we're not really going to get right into that in this class. We're just going to start to think about how we start to move in that more formalized direction. This is really just an overview and an introduction. So let's just think about a straight line graph. So we're talking here about a graph that's drawn on an xy axis. So we're working on the xy Cartesian two-dimensional sort of plane, or just <laughs> the normal xy axis, you could call it. So if we've got a straight line, just something like that, remember that graphs go on forever. So although we only draw part of the graph, this graph actually carries on up the way and down the way forever. So we've got one straight line there. And then let's take another straight line, which is parallel to that line. So we'll just say those two lines are parallel. How do we distinguish between them? What is it that's different between line, say, one and line two? They're going in the same direction, so that's the same. They're both of kind of infinite length, so that's the same. It's the position, isn't it? This line here is higher up than this line. So the first thing we need to consider is how do we distinguish between lines if, well, if they're parallel? If they're parallel, then they've got the same steepness, and we're going to formalize that later on by calling that the gradient. But for the time being, um, we'll just call that the, the steepness of the line or the direction that the line's going in. And we're going to say that we can distinguish between them by this point here, where the line cuts over the, the y-axis. So where it cuts over the y-axis, we call that the y-intercept. And that's going to be one of the ways in which we can distinguish between straight lines. If two lines are parallel, they're still, unless they were on top of each other, they're still going to have a different y-intercept. Okay, so we'll just park that for now. And then moving over here, let's consider another scenario. So let's imagine this time that we've got two lines again, but they go through the same point on the y-axis. In other words, they've got the same y-intercept. So if we've got two lines like this, but they're meeting here at the same point, then how can we distinguish between those two? I've lost a bit of my line here, I think. So this time they've got the same y-intercept, but this line here is sloping up the way to the right, and this line here is sloping down to the right. So this is where we would bring in the idea of that steepness or the gradient is a formal term. Lines that slope up to the right are said to have a positive gradient. Lines that slope down to the right have got a negative gradient. And in fact, we assign values to the gradient, like a numerical value. And we're going to look at that in the next class, actually. So let's say, for example, that this gradient came out to be plus 2, which it could be, based on that slope. You'll learn how to judge the gradient. And let's say this one came out to be like minus 1, for example. We would use the fact that those numbers are different to distinguish between those two graphs. So we say that in this case, we're distinguishing between the two lines based on the gradient. So what we've kind of discovered here is that we can distinguish lines by the y-intercept, we can distinguish them by their slope or their steepness or their gradient. So what we do is we basically take both of these things and we merge them together to form the equation of a straight line. And the equation of a straight line comes out to be in the format y equals mx plus c. And we're going to look at this in detail in subsequent classes. We're just getting an overview, really, in this class. So the m value in that formula, that is the gradient measure. And that's going to be a number in reality, like the numbers that I've got up here. So there'll be some number that represents the steepness of the line. And the c value, which is a bit of a strange letter for it, really, that is the y-intercept. I'm not sure why we use the letter c for that. It might not always be the letter c. Sometimes these are written with a and b. M and C are probably the standard letters, though. So this here is the, the y-intercept. Okay, so that's really where we're going with this. We're going to this, which is the equation of a straight line, the equation of a linear function. And this is where you're going to spend most of your time working with straight lines. And then you're going to learn what this means. You're going to learn how this relates to the points on the line, how this relates to the graphs of the line. And you're just going to basically go between the algebra and the graph, and between the graph and the algebra. It's that interplay between those two worlds that is what this topic is largely about. 
So that's just an overview, just an introduction. You don't really need to take away any particular technique from this class. You don't even need to worry, worry too much about this right now. We're going to chat about this in detail in subsequent classes, but that's just to get you going with straight line graphs.